Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLU Prasad, I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are available at LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below. In addition to that, I have also segregated all the videos in my channel into 5 playlists which are respectively easy, medium, hard, the premium questions asked in the channel in the LeetCode platform and also all questions available in the platform ordered by sequence wise. Okay, let's dive into our question today. The question which we are go going to solve is students with invalid departments question number 1350 type easy let's see the question it is also asked in amazon okay they have given a department uh, schema which is consisting of id and name and it is of integer and varchar and uh, the primary key for this table is id okay it says which department it is and what is the subject of the department okay and the respect to students they have given the columns ID, name, department ID and the respect to data types integer, varchar means text and also integer the department. ID is the primary key for this table. Okay, got it. The table has information about the ID of each student at a university and the ID of the department he or she studies. Okay, they are related like that. Okay, write an SQL query to find the ID and name of all the students who are enrolled in departments that no longer exist okay return the result table in any order okay let's see the input example they've given let's keep it like this And they also given a output table. Okay. Here you can see that this is department ID is what the student took and what are the respect to you can see in this department table. So these two are join using department id and id right let's see if you see student number 23 allies one is from electrical engineering okay student number one is from department seven so computer engineering student number five jennifer department 13 is from business administration okay student number two john 14 okay he's not there okay Student number 4, 177, okay, he is also not there. Student 3, Steve, department 74, 74 is not there here, he is also not there. 6, Louis 1, yeah, 1 is there again, right? So, these are the there conditions. These are the not there conditions, okay? Respectively, 8, Jonathan, 7. Okay. Uh, let's see. 8, Jonathan, 7. And 7, Diana, 33. Okay. Uh, just a minute. And 7 also is from computer engineering. So, he is also present. 33 you can see it again there is no column called 33 33 is not there and again one one is electrical engineering he is present okay now which are the rows which are not there four rows which are this 14 77 74 and 33 that are the columns which they mentioned here 2 john 2 john 4 jasmine 4 jasmine 
uh, where is 7 yeah 7 diana 7 diana 3 steve smith 3 steve smith so what they have done is they have created a left join with these two tables which creates the relationship which are matching and also not matching and they have filtered only for conditions which is not matching okay let's see it first thing what they have done is they uh, from which is table is this one student table they created left join with the department table on a dot department id equal to b dot id okay now what we have done is we created the relationship between both these tables now what we want only unfiltered means unmatched where here you can see it is from the b table where department id is what null here ids are present when we match it for the matching tables for not matching tables the department id is what null here okay not matching in the case of left join i will keep where b dot is null now what are the outputs they are asking id table from which table they are asking 237 okay from a table dot id call it as id name table is there in a dot name okay. there is only one column so we can directly keep okay there are two columns so just call it a dot name as name let's run it Ah, uh, students yeah spelling mistake okay it got accepted let's submit it yeah all the test cases have been successfully submitted I will re-explain once again we have created a relationship between these two tables using the common column which is department ID and BID okay but we want only for uh, columns which are, which are not present in the department table so we want to filter for this one only so if you do left join this will be null so I kept a condition where the column in the B table is null after that they want which one ID and name from the A table so I have selected that one I hope it is clear thanks for watching if you want more detailed explanation like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your study partner try to be disciplined and try to complete all the playlist videos which are available in my channel Try to achieve your dream as fast as possible. Thank you.